ICSC Physics 2B Question 2 Find the gravitational potential energy and the values are given. So the formula is potential energy is equal to mgh. Substitute the values, all of them are in SI units. So we get the answer as 50 joule. Now potential energy could also be symbolized as u. Now this fourth question. A body fell from height 10 meters to reach 4 meters. So how much was the loss in potential energy? And what is the total energy possessed by the body at any instant? Now the loss in potential energy is the potential energy at the greatest height minus the potential energy at the new height. That is initial minus final potential energy. On substituting the values, we get the answer as 300 joule. And energy possessed at any instant means the total mechanical energy. And the total mechanical energy is always equal to the potential energy at the highest point, which is also equal to the kinetic energy at the lowest point. So that turns out to be 500 joule. Now in question 6, the boy is weighing 25 kg f. If the, that is the weight, then the mass is 25 kg. He climbs from 3 meters to 9 meters. What is the increase in gravitational potential energy? Now he's climbing up. So the increase in gravitational potential energy will be the final potential energy minus initial potential energy. You simply have to remember that it should always be the bigger number minus smaller number. So here, on substituting the values, it is 1500 joule. Mark the ninth sum as IMP. It is similar to a solved example. Now here we see that the force is being pushed is being applied along the slope so force and displacement are in the same direction so what is the work done well that is easy to calculate it is f into s f is 100 newton and s is 5 meter so the answer is 500 joule of work is done b what is the increase in potential energy increase in potential energy is mgh we always assume the potential energy on the ground as zero so the increase in potential energy is mgh, where mg is nothing but the weight, which is 100 newton, and height is 3 meters. So the increase in potential energy is 300 joule. And the Charlie question is, why is there a difference? The work done was 500 joule, but the increase in potential energy is only 300 joule. Where did the remaining 200 joule of the work done go? So for that, you have to write the sentence mentioned here the difference of 200 joule of energy is used in doing work against the force of friction between the block and the slope which will appear as heat energy which is dissipated into the atmosphere but you just copy what is written here mark the 12th question as IMP calculate the decrease in kinetic energy of the moving body if its velocity reduces to half of the initial velocity now we can imagine that if the velocity is halved, the kinetic energy will become one fourth. Let's calculate this. So the initial kinetic energy was half mv square, that's the formula. And the final kinetic energy is also half mv square, but now the velocity is halved. Because of the square, it becomes one fourth. Write this one fourth separately. So what we are left is one fourth of half mv square. But half mv square is uh, the initial kinetic energy so we see final kinetic energy is one fourth of initial kinetic energy but they've asked for the difference in the kinetic energy which can also be written as delta k where delta means difference well that is obviously initial kinetic energy minus final kinetic energy see in energy it's always bigger number minus smaller number for energy we never calculate negative energies so on substituting and taking LCM we see that the decrease in kinetic energy is 3 fourth of the initial kinetic energy 13 sum two bodies of equal masses but velocities V and 2V find the ratio of their kinetic energies and if they would have mentioned compare then too we have to find ratios so the ratio of the kinetic energies is ratio of their formulae mass is same so that's cancelled 
v square upon 2v square because of the square this becomes 4v square in the denominator v square v square cancelled 1 upon 4 write the final answer as a ratio in the 15 sum we see that mass is given and speed changes from 5 meters per second to 3 meters per second calculate the change in kinetic energy since the velocity is decreasing the kinetic energy will also decrease and the decrease in kinetic energy or change should always be bigger number minus smaller number that is initial kinetic energy minus final kinetic energy take half m common substitute the values and we get the final answer as 4 joule and we should mention decrease now in the 18th sum a truck weighing 1000 kg f that means the mass is 1000 kg its speed changes from this to this we'll have to convert this into meters per second in two minutes convert this into seconds si units calculate the work and the power now first of all you know how to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second that is multiplied by 5 upon 18 and time converted to seconds now work energy theorem says that the work done by the engine is the change in kinetic energy always the bigger energy minus smaller energy so that's 1 lakh 50 thousand joule and power is equal to work upon time that's 1250 watt in the 20th sum how much work is needed to be done on a ball of mass 50 gram to give it a momentum of 5 kilogram meter per second now the work needed to be done according to work energy theorem is equal to the change in kinetic energy so we will use the formula for kinetic energy which is momentum square upon 2m make sure you convert mass into kg si unit before calculating conversion is the number one silly mistake in numericals so on calculating we get this as 250 joule if you want to use the formula half mv square then first you'll have to find the velocity from the momentum given find the velocity because momentum is mass into velocity substitute mass and get the velocity but this is a shorter formula a shorter method now the 22nd sum is IMP and we have a similar sum in the solid examples a bullet of mass 50 gram so convert this into kg is moving with a velocity this is u it penetrates 10 centimeters that is 0 0.1 meter that is the s displacement and it comes to rest means the final velocity is 0 meters per second calculate kinetic energy and average retarding force so here in the solution first of all mass should be in kg write all the data in si unit a what is the kinetic energy possessed by the bullet well that is equal to the work done in stopping it according to work energy theorem and that is equal to the difference in the kinetic energy now as I told you the hint is take the bigger energy minus the smaller energy hence I took it as u square minus v square because the energy is decreasing and you will get a positive answer on the other hand if we would have taken v square minus u square and you get a negative answer it's okay because work done can be negative since it's a re it's a retardation here but since we are writing the answer for kinetic energy if you get a minus sign in the end just add one more step and remove the minus sign and in brackets write degrees that is also fine next question is what is the retarding force now force is equal to work upon displacement we substitute the values and we get the answer actually work done was negative so there should be a minus out here and the force is also minus it is a negative force that is the force is being applied in the direction opposite to displacement but since there was retarding force it is understood it is negative force so no need to worry about the negative sign here now in the 23rd sum the spring was kept compressed by this trolley and when it was released the potential energy the elastic potential energy of the spring was transferred to the trolley as kinetic energy due to which the trolley started moving forward with a velocity of 2 meters per second and its mass is 0.5 kg what was the potential energy possessed by the spring well as I said the potential energy of the spring is equal to kinetic energy of the trolley and the formula for that is half mv square so by substituting the values we get the answer is 1 joule now exercise 2c question 2 the stone of mass 500 gram is given that's 0.5 kg 
it is thrown upwards with a velocity of 15 meters per second. Calculate the potential energy at the greatest height. Now the potential energy at the greatest height is always equal to the kinetic energy at launch. That is uh, from the ground, whatever kinetic energy it possesses is the potential energy at top. So that is half mv square, we substitute the values and we get 56.25 joule. Now next question is, what is the kinetic energy on the ground after it reaches back? Now according to law of conservation of energy and assuming that there is no friction, it will be equal to potential energy at greatest height, which is again this value, and the total energy, the total mechanical energy at any point, not just a halfway point, is always equal to the potential energy at greatest height, which is 56.25 joule. Now in this diagram, a skier weighing 60 kg F, that is mass is 60 kg, he moves down from A to B and as you can imagine, at the edge of B he will fly away and then land on the ground. He's skiing. What is the change in gravitational potential energy? Obviously that will be MGH2 minus MGH1, that is the difference in potential energy. So that is calculated like this, substitute the values, so the change in potential energy is 36,000 joule. Now in the B part, it is mentioned that 75% of this change in potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. So what is the speed with which he will be launched at B? So it's mentioned that kinetic energy at point B is 75% of potential energy. Perhaps the 25% is uh, degraded energy, lost as heat energy due to friction. So half mv square is equal to 75 upon 100 into 36,000. We know all the values except v. Substitute the values, cross multiply, find the square root and we get the velocity as 30 meters per second. Now mark the sixth sum and the fourth sum as IMP. In the sixth sum, the bob of a simple pendulum is imparted a velocity of 5 meters per second at the mean position, so it will have kinetic energy. To what maximum vertical height will it rise on reaching at its extreme position? That means all the kinetic energy should get converted into potential energy. But 60% of its energy is lost because of friction. That means that the potential energy at extreme position is only 40% of kinetic energy at mean position because 60% of the energy was lost. Substitute the formulae of potential energy and kinetic energy. 40% here, mass and mass gets cancelled, substitute all the values and we get the value of height as 0 0.5 meter. Hi students, this is AJ sir. If you like this video, press the like button. If you would like to enroll for my online test series or online lectures, email me or message me on Instagram. Check the description for more information.